Shalom. Uh, all praises and honor and glory go to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And much love to you, brothers out there preaching the truth and sincerity. And uh I just want to do this video because um I've been seeing a lot of roadkill lately. You know, everyone when I see it, this scripture comes to mind. I'm gonna go ahead and read it, uh second Ezra five and eight. There shall be a confusion also in many places. And the fire shall often be sent out again, and the wild beasts shall change their places, and menstruous women shall bring forth monsters. And um, it, you know, it reminds me of how the 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 wild beasts are changing their places. You know, there's a lot of different things, good things in here. I mean, you know, not good things, and not good things uh, to anyone but the elect. You know, because it means the end of this kingdom is drawing nigh. But, um, you know, there are uh, useful things that can be uh, read here, you know. They shall come that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great number. And the way of truth shall be hidden. And the land shall be barren of faith. And that's, that's coming soon, man. June 11th, you know, they're going to be cutting off the net neutrality. And who knows how soon they'll enact and make it where you can't watch videos anymore. You can't watch Hebrew Israelite videos. You can't find the truth online anymore, you know? But iniquity shall be increased above that which thou now thou seest, or that thou hast heard long ago. And the land that thou seest now to have root shall thou see wasted suddenly. This land of America is going to be wasted, man. But if the Most High grant thee to live, thou shalt see after the third trumpet that the sun shall suddenly shine again in the night and the moon thrice in the day. But you know, yeah, man, it's going, it's going to go crazy out here. I'm going to go ahead and skip the uh, verse 9. I read about the wild beasts shall change their places and mistress woman shall bring forth monsters. And salt water shall be found in the sweet and all friends shall destroy one another. Then shall wit hide itself, and understanding withdraw itself into its secret chamber. You know, friends are going to betray themselves. Salt water is going to be found in the sweet, where sweet words used to be. Salt water, salty words are going to be, you know, deceit and hatefulness is going to be found. And that's why it also goes on to say, all friends shall destroy one another. You know, people are going to be betraying each other. Then shall wit hide itself. So the understanding of the Most High, how to be righteous, how to live, how to get along how to you know go through life you know what to do to get right with the most high to be saved from the plagues is going to hide itself and understanding withdraw itself into a secret chamber so that's what's coming you know and uh i'm gonna get to the point here you know i'm just reading a couple of things in here i feel like are useful and uh you know wit is going to be sought of many and yet not be found then shall unrighteousness and incontinency lack of self-control be multiplied upon the earth you know and that's what's coming man that's what's coming soon you know our mind should ever be on what's happening in the world and what the most high has coming and you know constantly meditating and hoping and praying that we'll be counted worthy to make it through these things you know keeping ourselves in check keeping our minds in check our, our bodies and souls in check wrestling all thoughts to, to submission to Hamashiach you know to the most high because righteous the righteous shall scarcely be saved but um you know as, as i got as i'm getting back to in the beginning of this video i stated i seen i've been seeing a lot of roadkill you know i've been seeing an exorbitant amount which means a lot i've been seeing a lot of roadkill seems like more than usual uh in the last two three four days I'll say from the first till now, yeah, today's the fourth. So from the first till now, I've seen like, man, I want to say four deer. I've seen like a deer a day I'm seeing, and they're like different deers, you know? I'm seeing, uh, you know, all type of badgers, beavers, you know, all type of wildlife. Um, a lot of it's, it's a lot more deers on the side of the road having been hit by cars and it just brought to my attention this morning as I was driving like man the wild beasts are really changing their places you know it ain't even as worse as it, as it could be but these wild beasts are changing their places and uh sure enough I looked up a video here about um you know wild beasts 
changing their places. This came out about six days ago. Now we'll go ahead and hit play. Chased away the coyote this morning. Now this is a good reminder that predators and many other animals live among us. As ABC's Victor Oquendo shows us, these close encounters are. Are you gonna pause on me? Come on, man. What's, what's... Hey, I'm gonna hit play on this one. See if I can get a clip of it. Yeah, we'll just watch this. How do I write this out? Okay. Clone. So like you. So um, go get rid of the Not really showing me much here. Why a volcano destroys a lot of homes. Seen the brother doesn't support Flash. Come on, man. I was just playing a video. Literally was just playing a video. But okay. But yeah, it's just something I was thinking about, you know, got to be able to have spiritual thoughts about the things that you see around you and link it with scriptures <sighs> to be able to know what, what days you're living in. Let's look at this. Cities are affecting evolution. Yeah, okay. As many species adapt to urban living. It says in cities, wildlife evolves and starts to fast. You mean adapt? They adapt. <laughs> Animals, plants, and insects adapt to the extreme urban environment and even to specific subway lines. Japan carry on crows, put walnuts on rolls so their vehicles to drive over them, crushing themselves, allowing the birds to get the food inside. Oh, okay. What's this? Is that a sloth? Just <coughs> a decent example. Got a damn sloth <laughs> looking for a snack. What is this thing hopping around back here? Like an antenna or something. You can't the monkeys are regular business, but this is the first time a sloth snuck in. Now they got a sloth sneaking in. Despite its slow and steady approach, the sloth's mission was unsuccessful. You know, the animals is 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 scratching, man. They scratching trying to survive. They're trying to find them something too, man. But this, the way that the, the environment is under Esau is basically changing everything. Five cats in Hollywood are different from those living north. Studying the DNA. <laughs> Want to see this video, man. See if it'll play. Now I'm just going to end it. Well, Chased now. away the coyote this morning. Now this is a good reminder that predators and many other animals live among us. As ABC's Victor Oquendo shows us, these close encounters are on the rise. That is a seven-foot alligator scaling a fence in a backyard. 
Not exactly what neighbors in one South Carolina neighborhood expected to wake up to. Anything that's big enough to eat me gets my attention. And it's actually the fifth alligator removed from the neighborhood so far this spring. I hate to think I'm having uh, supper with an alligator tonight, but he might be on my dock when I get back home, <laughs> so who knows? Across the Carolinas, chomping their way into yards. Oh, oh my gosh. Officers wrangling this mm. massive gator off a porch earlier this month. The gator he's ain't playing, yo. He's death rolling. More common in Texas. <laughs> that gator trying to get it in, yo. This trappers dragging this one from a family's driveway. Even a mountain lion spotted roaming backyards Damn. outside of LA. And researchers believe it's a sight we should all get used to. They're moving into areas that they formerly uh, inhabited before they were um, uh, pushed out of there by human activity. So lock you, bang headphones, man. Falling apart, but that's that's indicative of this dang on society falling apart as well. Hold on, I ain't trying to hear this. Is, oh wait, is this a different video? Yeah, this is talking about fires. So lock you, one second. Dang headphones! I was trying to get that video to play because that would have made my perfect point way earlier in the video but hey it is what it is i guess i can't control it you know can't control how the internet work but uh yeah man <clears throat> the wild beasts shall change their places and that's what this what's going on man the wild beasts are more and more being found in these urban areas as you just saw and yeah man it's gonna get worse man you know let me see Wild beast. Easy ass gets thirty nine and thirty. There be okay, thirty nine and twenty eight. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them and the most high is the one who made them. Fire and hail. Hey, what was he just talking about? Fire. Yeah. Fire and hail. And we minimize that and famine and death all these were created for vengeance teeth of wild beasts and scorpions serpents and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction they shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready upon earth when need is and when their time has come they shall not transgress his word so you know that's what's going to happen that's what's coming to this place this was coming to the wicked, you know, the wicked being Esau, Edom, so-called white people, and also the wicked of the children of Israel and you other nations. That's the most high created them spirits and them animals and stuff for vengeance. And that's what they're going to do. They're going to reap vengeance. Anyway, this video has gone on long enough for me trying to get that dang video to play and all that. All praises to the Most High, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much love to you, brothers out there preaching the truth and sincerity. With that, I say Shalom.